Hi, and welcome to a Show Me How Learning Center production. Today, we're going to talk about how to take a screenshot using an Apple computer. A screenshot is a method of taking a picture of what you see on your screen. To demo this, we're going to go to iPhoto and use some photographs. But this technique we're about to show will work on anything on your computer. So I'm going to open iPhoto. Now, if I want to take a screenshot of everything on my screen, I could do this by holding the Command, the Shift key, and hitting the number 3, like this. You'll hear a camera sound, and on your desktop, you'll see a new picture. I'm going to minimize iPhoto. And by clicking over here on the picture, I can preview it by hitting the space bar. This is a feature called Quick Look, and it's a really great way to quickly preview things, especially pictures. So I can see that I've taken a picture of my desktop, and it looks exactly like my desktop. I can see my whole iPhoto library. I've got the program I'm running up here. I can even see my menu bar. So this is a screenshot of everything. But maybe I don't want to take a picture of everything. Maybe I want a photo of just this one flower. So here's what we can do. If we go back to iPhoto, this time I'm going to hit the Command and Shift key again, but I'm going to hit the number 4, like so. And now, if you look at my mouse, it's changed to a crosshair. By clicking and dragging over the photo, I create a square. And this square will take a picture of only this photo. Once again, we hear the camera sound, and I'll minimize iPhoto. On the desktop, we now see only the flower. But wait, we can take this even a step further. We're going to go back to iPhoto one more time. And once again, we're going to try a different technique. I'm still going to hold Command Shift. And I'm even going to hit the number four. But this time, instead of clicking and dragging, I'm going to press the space bar. Notice how I now have a camera icon for my cursor. If I position this over iPhoto, iPhoto turns a darker shade of blue. Actually, that's more of a light shade of blue, but we're splitting hairs here. <laughs> if I position my mouse over the background, the background now changes color. Now here's the really cool thing. If I click on the background, I hear a camera sound, but the picture it took is only of my background. We don't even see iPhoto. The same works in reverse. If I once again command shift four and pressing the space bar, I'll now click on iPhoto and now the picture it's taken is only of iPhoto. So these are a couple of tips and tricks that you can do with an Apple computer, and this is called taking a screenshot. This has been a Show Me How Learning Center production. Please stay tuned for more.